hey guys what's up and welcome to my tutorial video guys in today's video i'm gonna introduce you people to two new concepts of editing in premiere pro okay now the one thing is ripple delete and the other guys is the ripple edit tool okay now ripple delete is not exactly a tool guys but according to me it's quite a good function okay and i think that you guys you know uh, at least a beginner should be knowing about it and the ripple edit tool is actually a tool okay it's located right over there the, the keyboard shortcut is a letter B on the keyboard. Okay, so guys, first guys, we would like to actually I'm gonna delete all these clips. Okay, and I, I'm gonna you know put them in again. So I'm gonna bring these two clips first. I'm just gonna bring them over here. And guys, I'm gonna bring it over here. Now, guys, take a look. What uh, actually, guys, I'm doing this purposely just to show to you what exactly this repeatedly do. Okay, now uh, just imagine, guys, that when you are working with any of your Premiere Pro projects, okay, and guys, uh, you have like say, uh, actually, guys, let me just show it to you. Oh, why do I assume things? Yeah, now say, guys, that when you are working like this, and you know, you are creating a project, and say, guys, that you have, uh, you know, that you had thought before that you may have some use of this clip, and you bought it into your timeline, but now you feel that no man, we we really don't need this clip in this project. So guys, uh, one of the very cool ways that I think that you can delete a clip is by doing this. Select the clip, okay? Make sure that this clip is selected. Do a right click, guys, and do a ripple delete. The option is right over here. If you click on it, what happens is, guys, that you will get rid of the clip, okay? And the space that is there, okay, which is left between the second and my fourth clip, okay, that automatically disappears and the space is taken, uh, is covered up, you know, um, with my fourth clip which is now my third clip of course uh one other way guys is by doing this i'm gonna press ctrl z for doing an undo and guys if you are in this habit okay if you are from the sony vegas background if you are in the habit of selecting the clip and pressing the delete key on your keyboard okay uh you can, you can do that guys and this blank space which is there right now okay just do a right click on it and you can see that you and you can see that you have an option available which is ripple delete just click on it and the blank space will disappear once again okay so according to me, that was an important thing that a beginner should be knowing. So therefore, I taught you that it was very easy, guys. Go ahead, and I'm pretty sure, guys, that you will find uh, some use of it. You know, when you will be working with any of your Premiere projects, okay. So um, remember that thing, okay? Rapid delete, awesome tool, guys. According to me, um, I'm pretty sure that you will find a use of it. So let's get started with the next tool. Uh, the next tool, guys, is the Ripple Edit tool, okay? The previous one, guys, which I showed you, or this technique which I showed you, was the ripple delete. Okay, this is the ripple edit tool, so don't get confused. Okay, now let's take a look at what exactly do we have over here. So we have this guy who's looking down right now, then he raises his face up, and I'm gonna actually scrub through this thing right now. And then we have some more shots of that guy, then we have this uh, yoga woman. So right now, we don't need this. I'm just gonna mark key, select that thing, I'm gonna press the delete key. And right now, uh, right now, guys, nothing is happening because I am in my Ripple Edit tool. So, uh, and Ripple Edit tool will really, you know, not help me out in this situation when I want to delete a tool. So, I'm going to press a V key on my keyboard. So, I select the tool and press a delete key. And yeah, I, I could have done the Ripple Edit, uh, the Ripple Delete, but that would have, you know, not made any kind of sense. Okay. So, uh, we're going to select uh, the Ripple Edit tool once again by using the keyboard shortcut of B. And you'll see uh, the tool gets selected. Now, guys, I'm gonna scrub through uh, this timeline when this guy raises his face up over here. Okay, so I don't want all this. Other, and actually, guys, I'm gonna press the I key just to remember. Okay, just to mark an endpoint on my timeline. All right. So I don't really need all this kind of a footage. Okay, this is all extra footage. I don't need it right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to uh, this place. I'm gonna and, and right now, guys, I'm holding down my shift key. And yeah. And I'm, and I'm holding on my shift key guys for uh, for uh, uh, you know for the snap to happening for the snapping to happen all right oh yeah so I'm gonna go to this ripple edit tool and I'm, I'm gonna go to this you know very end of this video and take a look guys at what happens to my mouse pointer it automatically changes to this new cursor guys okay when I hold guys and when I take it back all right take a look Take a look what's happening in my program monitor. The program monitor, guys, is showing me the first frame, okay, the first frame of the the clip that I'm trying to delete, okay. So all this extra part, guys, is gonna get removed. And when I let go, guys, 
you know I, I you know i do not have that blank space left so what exactly has uh, the the tool has done is that you know it has uh, deleted all those other footage okay and it has also removed the that blank space that would have been created okay so uh, so that's what the ripple edit tool does okay uh, i could have used the razor tool then i would have split the uh, the video in two and then i would have gone to my selection tool again selected the part that i didn't want and press the delete key or ripple edit uh, you know that technique but that would have only wasted my time you know so uh, the ripple edit tool according to me is pretty useful right go ahead practice these two things guys which i taught you right now into your own premium pro projects right and um, thank you for joining me on this video hope you guys like this tutorial please uh, watch my other tutorials also guys and if you guys like this tutorial then please subscribe me okay Please subscribe and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.